This is an unboxing of a tall telescope. It's a Russian telescope. This one, I think, is the 64 millimeter version of it. Let's let's see what is it. As you can see, this is well packed, but this is the hinge side of it. So I have to turn it over and bring it that side up. Okay, now I have uh, removed the packaging. It's in a beautiful wooden box. Lovely iron handles, look. It's written, um, Amateur Astronomer Telescope, number 7461, 1994. Made in Russia. Looks like well built. Ooh, look at that. That's a later version of it, which had this form. The earlier version had something else. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's the telescope. This is the stand for it. I wonder where is the pair for the mount. This is the tube for the stand. Let me just lift one by one everything. Oh, before that, let me look. This is the tube. This is the eyepiece. This is a screwdriver. Uh, there's another eyepiece here. This is the focuser. There is a little bag here, which I don't know what is inside it, but look like something absorbing moisture. Oh yeah, something to absorb moisture. These tubes are the stand, but there must be a pair also. Uh, that's the tripod pair stand. These are just a vertical column of it. Let me lift this. Probably I have a feeling probably this is under it. Let me see. Yes, hallelujah. That's what I meant. That's the stand for it. And look at this tube. Solid tube. <laughs> Completely milled and uh, no, sorry, laced and cut. It's not a tube which is ma made by bending the plate, iron plate. It's completely made of the drilled and uh, yeah, bored and laced uh, metal, solid. Let me just set it up and have a look. This is the telescope as set up. Quite actually have a small footprint for a telescope. You can just come close to it, it just doesn't take much space. Definitely less than a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> definitely. Probably the size of a little tripod. And it's impressive heavy. And you can just turn it and lock it by this, it's a clamp, which uh, uh, you tighten it and untighten it, loosen it up. And that's it, the telescope works with that. There is the usual warning here, it's an important sun warning, danger, never attempt to directly view the sun. And uh, let's see the mirror. That's the secondary mirror. And what you see at the end is a primary mirror. Beautiful. The only thing is that you cannot turn this focuser or the tube. So you have to go down or probably sit to look through the eyepiece. As far as I've seen, it has two eyepieces. Needs cleaning. The eyepiece needs cleaning. One eyepiece there and a moon filter. Is it the eyepiece? Uh, I think. It's the extender. Yeah. That's it. Extender probably for a barlow or something. And that's all that it has. I'm telling you, being a Russian built, even this polystyrene is tough. I touch it, it's heavy and tough. It's not possible to actually leave a thumb mark in this easily. And comes, of course, in this beautiful box. So, that was unboxing. Confirm that this is an eyepiece and a barlow attached together. So, I have to unscrew this. Okay, that's the barlow and that's the eyepiece. Needs cleaning, of course. It's almost like a microscope eyepiece. 
I have to clean it carefully. It has been used, it seems, as for fishing or somewhere. Or for hunting. Anyway, that's the telescope itself. It's a real gem. Beautiful. If you can find the right eyepiece for it, it will serve you well. Okay, I can say that you can turn the telescope to around itself, this tube around, slightly by this, and also by this you can do up and down probably. Anyway, there's a basic telescope, very strong, very heavily built.